Are you interested in improving the habitat for deer on your property? Would you like to plant some trees or just watch others have hours of misery while planting trees? Then stay tuned. So here's the uh, persimmons that we're planting today. This is kind of in the middle of the size. We got several different sizes that they gave us in the state nursery. Uh, this group here of 25 is kind of in the middle. Um, just pulling out the, that's kind of on the larger size what they gave us as far as the roots. But I would say that the vast majority of them are that size. You know, about a 10 inch seedling. So, I've been using, for the most part, a drill with an auger. And then it's on some of the bigger ones I'm digging a hole, but um, hoping to get a bunch of these planted today and we'll see what happens. So this is the first location that we'll be planting today. As mentioned earlier, we have 100 persimmon seedlings. And prior to this, if you'll remember, we have 50 chestnut seedlings. And those chestnut seedlings they were quite big. They were about three feet tall and they had massive root balls or roots coming out of them, uh, bare roots. So those came from the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife and they're great big sizes and they survived well in the end here. But um, you know looking back to these persimmons they were quite a bit smaller than the chestnuts. They didn't have quite as extensive of a root system. So that was good and bad. Um, in theory it's you got to water them more if uh, if you run into a drought situation with those smaller roots. However, it does make them quite a bit easier to plant. Now, in this clay soil with rocks, we had to dig up the holes for the chestnut trees. Now, with these persimmons, we're able to use a drill auger, and it makes it quite a bit quicker to do. Uh, it's still not easy because you know that clay is tough to break up with that drill. It, may, it wants to tear your shoulder out of your socket, but uh, at either way, either way, it's still a lot quicker to do, and it's much preferable to to dig in a hole. So that's what we did with these. So this is I, I just dug a hole with this with the drill auger, and um, put the tree in, watering it, put more dirt in the hole, watering it some more to get all those air pockets out. And we ended up having pretty good survival with these, well, really good survival with these, with both the chestnut and the uh, persimmon doing it two different ways. So now I'm firming up the, the hole here, and we'll put a tube on and a weed mat and move on. So this is a brief look at this spot where we planted about 12 persimmons and I think we got about 10 or 12 chestnuts here as well. So we got about 23 planted so far today. There was already four chestnuts, uh, four chestnut seedlings that we planted. And I believe there's 15 total here. So obviously these are moving a lot quicker than the uh, trees we've the chestnut trees we planted the roots aren't nearly as uh, extensive there's a lot of woody roots with those chestnut trees and the trees were bigger a little bit harder but uh been using a drill auger drill with an auger attachment it's worked out pretty well so we'll see uh see what i believe we got about 32 or 33 persimmon trees in today i'm still ready to go but my dad uh He's wore out, so I think we're going to call quits after that. So we've got nine in this spot. There's just two left to tube here. There's one over here. So 12 in the first spot, 11 in the second, I think nine here, if I'm recalling correctly. So it's been a good day. Hey, is this one of the first times you've watched one of my videos? If it is, drop a comment below and let me know.